Hey folks, Marcus here from the Ashland Fly Shop. We got an exciting new product from Rio to talk about today, and that's their new Skagit Max Power Head. 525 grains. This is a 20 foot head, and on the end of it, I've got a 12 and a half foot piece of T11 on the Sage X 12 foot seven weight. And this head is part of their Elite series, and it kind of picks up where the old Skagit Max short left off. So what is it? It's a short Skagit line designed for rods that are maybe 11 to 12 and a half feet in length. And it comes in sizes. On the low end, you'll find it at 325 grains and 18 feet long, all the way up to your heavier sizes for your you know, kind of short, compact winter steelhead setups. So today I've got the 7120 Sage X and the 525 grain line, and it's just flying off of here. It feels very powerful, a lot of turnover, but still, still long enough for me to create my D-loop the way I like and turn it over. So what's different about this line compared to the old line? There's two main differences. Number one, they put the line on Rio's connect core, so it's gonna take the stretch out of the core which is a pretty important thing. And then also they've put it with a slick cast coating, which is their new coating that came out this season on the Rio Gold, the Rio Grand. And it's kind of the best coating that they've ever made. So it should increase the durability of these lines. You know, heads for, for rods like this, um, we aren't interacting with them in our hands very much. So they really, actually have a long lifetime already and I was just saying before we rigged up here you know these might be the last Skagit lines I ever get so if it increases the durability and lifetime over the old Skagit Max lines then that's really going to make this a long-term investment a long-term product that you can get years and years out of use of which is awesome. So the nice thing about the Rio Skagit Max Power compared to the Skagit Max Short that came before it is you get a color change compared to the regular length Skagit line. That's going to be really nice um, for identifying your different lines. Both lines come with a color change in the back couple feet of the head that will help you identify which end needs to go to the base of the reel. And it will be nice to see that color change when you're out swinging a run. So the big thing I noticed that seems to have changed is the taper. And personally, I was never much of a fan of the old Skagit Max short line. And I can't say for certain what they've done with where they've put the weight in this line. I'm not a technical enough caster to really know that, that in depth. But I can say from casting it right now, this line makes me a better caster than the old Skagit Max short did. Um, it feels better, it turns over better, super powerful, really effortless. It's just, it's just a line I want to fish, and that, that's as easy as I can say it. So when you look at the difference between their new Skagit Launch series and the Max Power, you might be wondering when you would go opt for the power and when you'd opt for the launch. Basically, I just look at what your casting situation is like. How much room do you have behind you? How big is the river system? Are you in spots where you've often got willows behind you? And how long is the rod? If you're fishing a switch rod, which a lot of people do, or an you know, 11 and a half, 12 foot rod, these Skagit Max power lines are just going to fly off of rods like that. I'm, I'm really confident in this taper just from having cast it right now that it's, it's going to excel on a lot of different rods. And you might even put it on a bigger rod and fish a little bit um, longer of a sink tip just because you like that extra power, extra turnover. It's a little bit easier to build a D-loop compared to like a, a 23 foot line. So today I'm just out here with the one rod, the one sink tip, and the 525 grain Skagit Max Power. Over time, we will test other grain weights on other rods, but we wanted to get out, give you a first impression of this line, 
see how we like it. And from this first casting session out here, I'm pretty dang happy.